incredibly like you're going to have the right mindset for the business. You're going to be a hard worker. That's really what all of us need to be, right? We got to have the right mindset. We got to work hard. We got to work deep and we got to work. And I, I, you know, that phrase is just used way too frequently. Work smarter, not harder. Yeah. I mean, I know we all understand that concept, right? But we need to actually go deeper than the concept you know, the, or the, that one simple phrase, work harder, you know, or work yeah. smarter, not harder. We actually have to work deep. So, you, for example, working smarter or working deep means actually having at least a one hour block, right? In fact, having multiple one hour blocks where there are zero distractions. And so a lot of times, can you go one hour without checking email? Mm. Like literally having no email, no phone for no one phone. hour, and you're going to work deep into database, mm -hmm. right? If you did that one hour deep work, going deep into just like, here's all the customers and clients. I'm in my CRM. I'm not being distracted by anything else except for the following. I'm going to add more details about that sphere of influence individual, about where they're most likely going to move next, about the details about them. I'm going to just think about that. I'm going to do some research about them. That's deep work. People a lot of times feel like that's not important work. In fact, that's some of the most important work mm -hmm. is understanding our customers and clients really well. Sometimes diving deep into our competition. What's our competition doing? Mm. Who are all the people, even within our own offices, who are doing really well? Let's actually analyze them a little bit. Right? <laughs> I mean, that is, if you spend an hour just analyzing some of the top or, you know, agents in the business, you know, whether you know them personally or just, you know, best business practices, you're yeah. going to be like, wow, that spending that one hour really helped me become a better individual myself, you know, learning about time, learning about scripts, learning about, you know, so many other things that are yeah, there. A great example of that. I, um, we have a transaction coordinator in our office and, uh, that had been what my partner had been using. And yeah. I told him, and I had uh, saw, seen somebody in our office that was very successful, and they did uh, every piece of paperwork all the way through the process. Okay. And I said, you know what? I, I want to be like that agent. Okay. And so we learned, and we took on our own transaction management. And I can't tell you how helpful that's been because I understand uh, the uh, every process from step one all the way to the end, how it works, who I need to call. And that allows us to troubleshoot it. It yeah. allows us to stay uh, better connected. allows us to get better answers and, and ultimately you know create better relationships with our clients absolutely yeah yeah sometimes we just have to dive deeper into the process themselves and that's not to say that you should never use a transaction coordinator but you're gonna feel way better <laughs> well, about transaction using... coordinators tweet howard yeah 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> however you know once you basically dive deep into any process yourself you can now teach that system you know you you basically are are, are so self-reliant as well right